Hello everybody, my name is Nara and welcome back to my channel. Here we are talking about astrology, spirituality, and all things mysticism. And in this particular video, it's a part of a series that I'm um, doing, uh, which is zodiac signs through the houses in astrology. And uh, we're starting with a zodiac sign of Libra. We already talked about um, the characteristics of the zodiac sign of Libra, as well as the um, Libra rising signs, uh, meaning Libra in the first house. So this video will talk about the Libra, zodiac sign of Libra in the second house of astrology. So if you know your exact time of birth, um, and you'll be able to find out um, your rising sign as well as your moon sign and just the placement of your houses because that's very important. So the time people pay attention only to the zodiac signs, but that's not how we should look at astrology. So knowing your time of birth is very important. Zodiac sign is just the characteristics that you will have, okay? But uh, knowing your the house where your Libra is, for instance, will allow you to understand, let's say, uh, in what area of life you will be um, having this these characteristics, like applying the characteristics of the sign of Libra. So it's very important. So it's more personal, right? So we'll start with the second house. So before we even talk about um, Libra in the second house, house of astrology, what is second house and who it naturally belongs to? So second house of astrology. So remember, first house of astrology uh, is me. Like who am I? How am I presenting myself to the world? How am I approaching uh, decisions? How am I approaching um, my life? Uh, what is my thought process? What is driving me? Uh, what kind of sensations do I have? Uh, how do other people perceive me? How do other people view me? How do other people uh, see me? And stuff like that, right? Like all of those things. Um, this is the related to the first house. But when it comes to the second house of astrology, uh, it's uh, a natural house of the sign of Taurus. Also, there is a connection between Taurus and Libra. They're both ruled by planet of Venus, right? There's um, another two zodiac signs who share the same planet, which is uh, actually two more. Uh, so Pisces and Sagittarius, they are both ruled by Jupiter. Uh, and uh, Mars, right? Scorpio and Aries both are ruled by Mars. So besides that, second house is a natural house of a sign of Taurus. So uh, second house is uh, a house of resources. So it's the area of your life which is related to resources, your personal possessions. Uh, so uh, imagine the first house, you have this border where your first house is, for instance, right? So I was born. And then when we move to the second house of, astral of your personal chart, uh, is what do I possess? It's like uh, giving an analogy of a children, like of a child who uh, got the first toy or a bunch of toys like by the age of five and that's his possessions, right? So this is second house. Uh, that's how it starts. That's how we start experiencing second house in our lives. So we start experiencing it at the age of like very early age, right? And then how we are going to relate to those resources and possessions that we have, how we're going to treat them is going to be defined by the zodiac sign that, it, that the second house is in. So this is how it's interconnected. But obviously you might have uh, a bunch of planets in that house, which is a completely different story. We're not going to go there. But just looking at the zodiac sign will make probably a lot of sense to you um, as to why you're acting um, the way you're acting when it comes to your resources. Um, and then personal resor resources also include your wallet, right? How much money you got. And this is not related to work. That's like what's the uh, main difference between the second house and the sixth house, for instance, because uh, second house, the sixth house, and the 10th house are all 
um, three houses that are ruled by uh, Earth zodiac signs, right? The zodiac signs with the element of Earth, which is Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. These are materialistic signs, right? And that's why they are located in the houses that are connected to the resources and possessions and just money, right? Like practicality. So yeah, but the second the second house is ruled by the sign of Taurus. Um, so what else does the second house contain? So the second house also could uh, includes your money. So it's not the work that or jobs that you work for. It's the personal money that you have and how you are treating that. How are you handling it? Uh, also, the second house can be related to uh, the business. So working for yourself, entrepreneurship. It's not working for other people or the reputation, which is the 10th house. It is how am I making money? And it's usually a personal thing. It's usually not shared with other people. It's where you possibly don't even have like anybody, like you don't have like employees there. So it's you and only. So that's the second house. Okay, but what if you have, sorry, about that because my phone is falling but what if you have Libra in the second house how are we gonna read that so let's see how Libra is going to act when it comes to money and resources and possessions so a zodiac sign of Libra is um, inclined to form partnerships right so if we are looking at the second house from the perspective of a business person who is working for themselves entrepreneur um, Libra would be more inclined, like if you have a Libra in the second house, more inclined towards forming connections that are bringing her the resources that are benefiting her goals, okay? And meeting her goals and needs. So, because Libra is a social sign, they need connections, right? Whether it's partnership, romantic, or business partnership, it doesn't really matter what kind of partnership as long as it is benefiting her and what is allowing a Libra understand what's benefiting her, what she needs to do, what she needs to get, Venus, right? Because Venus is a planet of preference and beauty, right? I mean, people talk about beauty relationships when it comes to Venus, but really how I see Venus and the way I've, I've observed how it works on me personally is the preference. I want that, I don't want that. I like this, I don't like this, you know? So think of, venus first and foremost as just a preference so your v like if you have any libra placements it doesn't really matter if you have any libra placement with planets in there you will be greatly affected by the venus okay so it will pro it will be guiding you internally in the certain areas of your life to like understand okay do this because this is what i want i don't want this so it all comes down to pleasure so instead of naming it like even preference i would say just a sign uh planet of pleasure so it just it is after pleasure venus is very lazy planet to be honest you know it's not like mars right mars is like let's go and get it let's go and get it get this done right um because mars equals aries that's why they're very snappy and aggressive and, you know, one track minded, don't really care about what other people think of them and just go and execute without even second thought and which usually doesn't bring them the greatest results, but that's a different story. Um, but when it comes to the second house, um, okay, sorry, no, when it comes to Libra, if you have Libra, like planets in whatever house, it doesn't really matter. If you have planets in the sign of Libra, you'll be affected by this, the Venus, because Libra is Venus, right? So in that area or a few areas of your lives, it can happen too, because we need to look at aspects. Um, a few areas of your life will be determined by the preference and the uh, you know pleasure. So whatever is pleasurable to you, uh, that's how you're gonna be making decisions. And sometimes it doesn't really lead you to the best decisions really, uh, because pleasure is not always what we need, it's what we want, right? But that's a different story, but just Venus is like that, and Libra tends to be just as Venus. Um, and when it comes to business, right, or just making money, uh, Libra is finding money through connections. 
uh, through forming good connections. And the main emphasis is put on how I present myself in order to form those connections and keep those connections so that they benefit me, so that they keep benefiting me, right? So Libra is constructing her behavior so that other people like her, right? And when it comes to the second house of astrology, it's uh, how am I gonna present myself to these people so that they like me and they uh, form a partnership with me, right? So that we benefit from one another, but especially me. Libra is not the egotistical sign like Leo, but um libra will only do those things that she will get pleasure from let me put it this way not that she loves but that, that she will get the pleasure from okay so if you're getting pleasure from um even like i don't know being friends with benefits with one of your partners uh business partners in order to get a certain business result libra would do that you know because that's pleasure it's going to bring her money which she wants if you're catching my drift it can work like that but obviously it's not limited to this uh but just the main point of libra in the second house is that when it comes to money and just forming like business connections libra will be focusing on how to present herself so that she has great connections that benefit her financial world if that makes sense um when it comes to money just how she handles money and how she um you know spends money saves money libra is a, is a element of air right and what is element of air is very airy it doesn't really um get stuck on things it just keeps moving and since libra is a cardinal sign uh just like aries and um cancer is um cardinal cardinal signs they tend to get over things pretty fast and they're always in flux they need to move in order to um enjoy this world really like they have to move in reality you know so uh a lot of the times when it comes to spending money they spend without even thinking so if they aesthetically like the thing they will just buy it uh and then they spend money fast they earn money fast so that's one thing about libra and money how she handles money also a sign of libra is not very attached to money and her possessions uh, they kind of they like to upgrade stuff so and again going back to venus they only buy stuff that they don't even they're not gonna even use that is like useless <laughs> <laughs> why because it's it, unlike capricorn in the second house which will never buy anything useless like like never like if you want to learn how to save money and you know how to handle your financial world better look out for friends who have capricorn in the second house these people can literally survive on nothing like i have a few friends and i have their charts too since i'm doing astrology <laughs> um when i looked at their charts it just made a lot of freaking sense why they are the way they are <laughs> with their money so yeah um okay anyways anyways going back to libra in the second house another thing libra in the second house can uh also when it comes to the resources right so her psychological resources because it's second house is also psychological resources um she will be like learning things that are connected to persuasion so libra is like she is designed to persuade people she is designed to you know come off come off nice so that you like me so that I, she can benefit from you it's not an ego it's just libra is more aware than other signs of what she wants and what's going to bring her pleasure because she's ruled by venus right so just looking at it like that from a venus perspective will explain you a lot why you're acting the way you do um and yeah so another thing about libra like uh psychological foundations right i mentioned psychological foundation has to have to involve 
um, you know, something that is teaching her how to behave, like behavioral psychology. Libra in the second house probably will be inclined to learning those kinds of tricks so that people, you know, she's appealing to people. So that's one. Uh, also, uh, to the resources and skills, because second house is a house of skills as well. Like, what kind of resources do you got? Like, what are you bringing to the table when it comes to money? Like, how are you gonna make money? How are you like gonna approach this, right? So when it comes to the skills and just even professions, uh, Libras in the second house, they possess those skills of um, like a diplomat. They are very good at making connections and like signing contracts, um, making a good deal, you know, signing a good deal, you know, like stuff like that because like they're very, very diplomatic. Like they know how to alter their behavior to, in order to get anything they want from other people. And that's what's cool about her, right? Libra will not overspend, okay? Like, like it might be a, the case, right, for everybody. However, Libra has that balance scales, which also always uh, lets her, like, notifies her in a way, like, within uh, to stop, to balance things out. So when she does that, that's when the money comes faster to her. So that's one thing to keep in mind uh, with a Libra in the second house. Well, I think that's all. Um, I think we captured pretty much um, everything I had to say about the second house, of, uh, Libra in the second house. So I think that's pretty much it about the Libra in the second house. Please let me know in the comments below what you think about that. If you have, if you are, if you are a Libra, second house Libra, uh, please let me know if that resonated. And yeah, I'm looking forward to your feedback. Bye y'all.